In this video, we're going to look at VAT rates in zero. We're going to look at how you can set up a new VAT rate and how you can apply it to accounts in zero, specifically related to the temporary changes to VAT rates taking place in the UK between July this year and January 2021. Okay, let's start by looking at where the VAT, the sales tax rates live. We choose accounting menu and then if we go to advanced and we're under advanced settings over at the right hand side, the third option is tax rates. By tax rates, it means VAT. And here you can see the list of all your tax rates. They're named and they're in alphabetical order. Let's add a new rate and I'm going to call it temp 5% on sales. I'm going to add the 5%. So this is because there's a, been a temporary change to VAT for some sales items in the UK. And let's save it. Okay, so now we have, as I said, it's in alphabetical order. So we scroll down to the T's, temporary, 5% VAT on income, it's at 5%. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to my chart of accounts and I'm going to look at my sales accounts. I only have one sales account. Now, if my sales were all going to change to the 5% VAT, I could change the tax rate on this. Let me just show you how to do that. Click on it to edit and I could select the new VAT rate. But what I'm going to do, because I want to make sure that I can look back at this at a later stage. So I'm actually going to add a new account. I need to say it's a revenue account. And I'm going to say sales at reduced VAT. And I'm going to select my new code. And I'm going to say save. Okay, I'm going to give it a code. So 200 has been used already for sales. I'm going to choose 201 and I'm going to say save. Now it works for me. So just to clarify, we have got our normal sales account and I've decided to add a new sales account so it will be easy to make sure that all our sales at the temporary VAT rate of 5% are coded to the correct place. As I said, you need to know the rules. You need to know when you can use this 5% reduced rate. So then, if you're in the hospitality in industry and you have income coming in, if we go to our dashboard and if we go to our bank reconciliation and let's look at this, we could have money coming in. I'm going to select this one. I'm not really worried what it is, so I'm going to say create. Who's it from? Jacaranda will do. What's the account? I'm going to choose my new account, 201. So now we can see it's 5% on income. Just going to say sales in the description. If we look at the add details, what you can see is the VAT is at 5% and we save that transaction. So the other, other thing you might be doing, you might be adding a sales invoice. So we'll create a new invoice. Who's it to? And I'm going to say food because that's one of the items that might be on the reduced rate. I'm going to say it's £200. And if we look here, the amounts are tax inclusive so it includes VAT. Actually Zero has chosen the 200 sales account it's trying to be too clever so what I need to do is select the new one sales at reduced VAT. Now we can see the VAT is at 5%. If the VAT was being added on to that amount you would say tax exclusive. So now you have your sale of £200 the VAT is 5%. If you're happy with your sales invoice you would approve. So I'm going to do a quick recap. If we go to the advanced menu, if we go to tax rates, we will see all the VAT rates here. This is the percentage rate that the VAT is calculated. So we're in the UK here and the normal rate is 20%. We do have a 5% rate already because sometimes there will be 5% on some expenses. We know that we want a new rate of 5% on sales and we want to track these sales. So I could have used the 5% that's here already. That would be fine, but I wanted to set up a new one. It was easy enough to do that by going to new tax rate. Then I went to my chart of accounts 
If my sales were all going to be at the new rate, I could have gone into this sales account editor and change the VAT. But I wanted to create a new account, so I've chosen account 201, called it sales at reduced VAT, and I've selected the new rate. Now I just need to make sure when I have any sales in zero, whether it was sales coming in through the bank account or creating sales invoices, that I use the new VAT rate. And that will feed through into your VAT account. That is where your VAT rates, your tax rates live in zero. If you like my videos, please let me know that you like them. Add some comments below. I will do my best to respond to them. And why don't you subscribe to the channel so you can get notified when my new videos are uploaded on a regular basis. Until next time, happy zeroing. <laughs>